What up? It's your boy Julius from the Toxic Tangents Podcast, the only comedy podcast that gives you a safe place for all your toxicity. Check out episode 32 where we get into crazy ex-girlfriend stories, all right? But guess what? Probably not as crazy as what you're about to watch, which is a sarcasm and motherfucking orgasms podcast with your host, Will Day Fresh. Now keep it. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Sarcasm and Orgasm. I'm your host, Will. I want to thank you for listening and tuning in. So before we get into it, make sure that you click like subscribe and share this of sarcasm and orgasm please please make sure you do that you know helps get helps get the stuff out there and helps with the algorithm on youtube so let's talk about something happily never after yes happily never after yes we do live in a society to where we all think that somehow some way Life can be a huge, huge fairy tale. Well, as quiet as it's kept, as quiet as it's kept, let me tell you, life is not a fairy tale. Life is filled with a whole bunch of fucking things that we just never know from one day to the next. Yes, we might have bills. Yes, we might have kids. Yes, we might have shootings. Yes, we might just have everyday occurrences that some days we're just not ready for. We're just not prepared. But you know what? What we are prepared for is just to deal with life as it comes. But life is not a fairy tale, people. Happily, never after. Because never is going to get here. They might not get here when you want to, but it is going to come. It, like I said, we all have an end date. Some of us go before others. Some of us go when we just don't expect it, but we are going to go. We might go happy, we might go sad, but when we do, we're going. But happily, never after. Like, wake up, people. Wake the fuck up. This is not some fairy tale. This ain't Snow White and, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This ain't Sleeping Beauty. This ain't Winnie the Pooh and the whatever his people were called. But I do know some Eeyores. I do know some Tiggers. I do know some Winnie Poohs. I do know some Piglets. Hell, we all can resonate with some type of fairy tale that we all grew up on. That is still going on today. But you know what? Life is not a fairy tale. People try to make it as a fairy tale as if something miraculously is going to happen. When we know it just ain't going to be that way. Life is not a fairy tale. So stop acting like it. And I can say me as a black person, yes, I'm black. I mean, I'm so black. I just get pulled over for nothing. Yes, I get pulled over for absolutely nothing. I mean, I'm so black, I won't even pull cotton out of the bottle because I'm so pro-black. Yes, life is filled with a lot of things. A lot of things. Especially when people just don't care about it. I mean, we all need to wake up. We all need to be a little bit more conscious about things that are going on around us. If life was such a fairy tale, we wouldn't have people killing more people each and every day. We wouldn't have people running up into schools and killing innocent lives just because, you know, they're being bullied. So they want to go bully someone else with a deadly weapon. Life wouldn't, wouldn't be a fairy tale. Well, no, if life was a fairy tale, then none of this shit would happen. If life was a fairy tale, then we wouldn't have protests on top of protests on top of protests saying, please stop the endless, and I mean endless, innocent killings. If life was a fairy tale as if it's so well depicted, then this world would be such a more happier place. We can all just run around ass butt naked, going on beaches and traveling and have a good time. No, we can't do that. We all got to have some type of asshole who always seems to uh, you know, want to end it just because we're trying to live our life. No. I'm tired of this live your best life. You can't live your best life. You just have to live your life the best way you can. And the best way you can is just by getting up each and every day and dealing with the bullshit 
that comes with us. Yes, because life has bullshit that we all going to have to deal with. Sometimes we don't want to get up and go to work. Sometimes we don't want to pay those bills. Sometimes we just don't want to deal with the bullshit that's at our door when we leave our door. But you know what? That's just the uh that's just the things life gives us. It gives us turns. It gives us choices that we have to make day in and day out. But it does make us stronger. But what it doesn't, it doesn't end in a fucking fairy tale. Happily never after. Because there is nothing happy about what is going on. If we were so happy, then we would be a little bit more content. Yes, a little bit more content with what's happening and how it's happening. So happily never after people. Some days you need to wake up and really smell the roses. Now there might be a pile of shit that they're growing in, but still, at least you'll get a little bit of sweet with the sour. But happily never after. You need to think about it. You need to correlate it with what's going on in your world and there's your life really happy? Is your life really the way you want it to be? Has it turned out the way you wanted to be some 10, 15 years ago when you were sitting up in your room or you were sitting in class building your master plan? Because we all know plans never seem to go accordingly to how we plan them out. There is always some type of turn, curve, heel that makes us take a detour that we were just unexpected. And that's where the never after comes in, the unexpected. Because like I said, you have to expect the unexpected. But most people are not aware of it. Because most people do not want to live with a swivel. Especially when you're a person of this. You have to live with the swivel. You have to know what is going on around you. Because if you don't, you might look up and find out that life is passing you by. Like my dad used to tell my brother and I when we were growing up, time is passing. Are you? So are you passing with the time or are you really doing something with the time so it doesn't pass you by? So happily, never after. We need to wake up people. Wake up in a way to where you figure this shit out. You do it the best way you can that way you get ahead of it before it gets ahead of you. Stop playing catch up. Please stop playing catch up because we're already against the clock as it is. So when we get to where we are to where we can stop playing catch up, you need to accelerate the best way you can so it never passes you up, passes you up again. So like I said, happily never after. This life that we're living, we only get it once. Just once and time yes time is no fairy tale time will beat us all time will be here after we leave and it goes on to the next generation and the next and the next so happily never after stop acting like life is a fairy tale because it's not there is no ending rainbow to where we're going to be happy about things and how they're turning out we can't rewrite what, what has already been written. We can't redo this shit. And if we could, we would all be happy about it. So happy never after. Stop acting like this life is a fairy tale because it's not. And if it was, hell, I would have did shit a lot differently than what I've done to this moment right now. So I just say to you, stop acting like life, like this life owes you something because it doesn't. Yes, you didn't have to be here, but you are here. So you got to make the best choices the best way you can. So I just want to say to you, make sure to like, click, and subscribe to this video. And make sure you stay up to date with what's going on and all the things that I got coming up in the near future. And make sure to go check out the podcast of Sarcasm and Orgasm. So remember, I'm Will, and I'll talk to y'all soon.